Now, as far as genocide, um, the second semester in my Native American history, as I said, I teach tribal sovereignty and tribal government, and that's when I hit the genocide issue. Mm -hmm. I hit it really hard. Um, in public school, I was not really allowed to. As I was telling uh, a lady earlier, in, when I was in public school, the first time I got called on the carpet, it was because uh, a parent had complained because I had said that President Jackson was a bad man. And I said, but he was, you know. I mean, he, he went against um, a decision of the Supreme Court of the United States. And uh, to me, that's a bad man. And, and he said, well, you can't do that. You can't talk about that, you know. And then I got called on the carpet again Is because- the principal? The principal, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, then again, I got called on the carpet because I was telling about uh, the Cherokee's removal, you know, popularly known as the Trail of Tears. And I explained to the kids that at least one third of their ancestors, and these were mostly Cherokee children that were in there, had died, you know, which is the truth. And he said, you can't say that because it frightens them. You know, and I said, and that is about when I decided that I needed to teach Indian kids in an Indian school from an Indian's point of view, you know. And uh, so uh, eventually I worked around till, thank goodness now I'm teaching in Sequoia schools, which is an all Indian school. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can discuss that with my students. And I do teach them everything that was presented today, I teach them that. You know. um, they are frightened by it. They want to know, could it happen again? And I, you know, I remind them, it is happening. It's happening all the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, more, the more these kids know about it, the more they can teach their own children, if they're not allowed to teach it in school but uh, the more they can guard against it happening again. Mm -hmm.